Hey, it's Charles the Tourist. We've got a demonstration video. First, what I want to do is just uh, show you that we really are embracing this new panoramic uh, capture mode. I'm just going to do a, a fun pano here of the uh, beautiful San Francisco skyline. Perfect. Now, of course, it saves it to my library. I'm going to jump into the tourist app and I tap the upload button. I browse for the pano and if I try to pick something that's not a pano it's going to warn me that it can't select it. It's processing the image right now to get it ready to send up to our servers. I'm going to give it a name. We'll call this, uh, uh, let's call this SF, do a capital F, Skyline. And I don't even have to choose a category, so I won't. And it's going to process it. And in a couple of minutes, there are a few different places where we'll find it, and I'll show you. Okay, so it's been about, uh, I don't know, about two minutes. And now we can find the pano uh, within any category if we assigned it to one inside New Editions. And we can find it in My Panos. And there we are. It's the San Francisco skyline. Now you get to see this with me for the first time. I'm going to tap to go in. Let's take a look. And you can see that this is actually dropped into the same spherical environment that we're used to. We can uh, zoom in and out. We can look all the way around. We've, we've done a neat trick here. We've actually stretched the 240 degree pano to 300 degrees, so it gives you a really immersive sense. Just like all our other panos, you can share them, get information, you can go into touch mode if you'd prefer. Thank you.